Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we are going to discover the Django admin dashboard and we're going to create a super user for you as an administrator of your dashboard. But first let's have a quick recap on what we have covered in the last parts. We started by launching the Django server to host our web application. We created a basic application within our Django project. We learned how to manage migrations. Also we have learned how to store data in the database. We have also learned how to use the SQL shell to add and edit records in database table. And finally, we have understood how to render HTML templates using the Django template language. And in this video, we're going to focus on a more efficient way to add or edit data in our database without using the shell every time. So what we're going to take a look at now is how to add and edit data in our database, but not through typing commands in shell because I don't want to do that each time I have to add a record in our database table. That's not going to be time effective if every time I have to go to the shell, import the model and, you know, do the changes and then uh, save the changes. And, you know, it's a very time consuming process. But instead, I would like to go to a part on my website where I can click and add a new tour from the origin country to the destination country, specifying the number of nights and determining the price for that tour or even if I want to update the existing tours. So Django is designed in a way that it allows the interaction of different data types and input very easy using a built-in app called admin, which makes it very easy to add and modify data. So what you will need to do is you will go to the Asia Tours Agency application, do that file called admin.py. That's the first time that we're going to interact with that file. And as you can see, Django tells you to register your models here. So I'm going to do that. But first, I want to import the tour class from models.py file. So from the current directory dot models, I want to import the tour class. And the syntax for that is going to be admin dot site dot uh, register. And you can see that the register function takes the model or iterable admin class. That's going to be our tour class essentially to iterate over all of the tours that we have created inside our tour model. So in parentheses, I'm going to just pass that tour class. The admin here, this is an app that it's built in Django and it's used to update the existing models. And what I've done actually is that I've registered this tour class in the admin app. And this essentially is going to allow the administrator to manipulate the tours, to add tours, to edit tours. So let's see if we want to access the admin dashboard, what we can do. Again, we're going to use the manage.py command line. So I'm going to say Python manage.py create super user. That's going to create a super user with a login, password, uh, your email also is going to be required. So if you're going to hit enter, you can see here that the username is asked. So I'm going to type my name. I'm here. The email address, um, let's say I'm here at backbrace.com. That's not a real email, by the way. The password, because I'm very creative, I'm going to leave it at one, two, three. And notice here, it's warning you that this password is too short. It must contain at least eight characters. It's too common and it's entirely numeric. Bypass password validation and create user anyway? Yes, because that's for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to say yes. And now super user is created successfully. Now let's go ahead and run the server. Python manage the pi run server. Okay, let's click on the link, the local host port 8000, and we'll have here our site. You see the local host port 8000 in the URL here. What you want to do is you want to enter forward slash and type admin, hit enter. And now you're inside that form Django administration with the username required and password required, of course. So the username is Amir and the password one, two, three. And now we are inside our Django admin dashboard. And to be honest, this is awesome. Django provides us this Django administration dashboard out of the box. We can create tours, we can edit tours, we can create different applications. That's the name of the application here, Asia Tours Agency. And below here we have our tours and we have all of our data that we have created in the shell. And take a look at that. You can take an action, you can delete the selected tours, you can select 
tours if you don't want them, if you're if they're not valid anymore, and you can delete them. We don't want to do that. We can actually add a tour. So we can add the origin country, destination country, number of nights, and price. The exact same fields that we have designed in our tour class. Let's create an origin country. Let's say, for instance, that we want to go from South Korea, the destination country, let's say China, number of nights. Um, you can see you can uh, change that here by those errors. That's awesome. We can uh, choose to be seven nights and we can have a price of thousand two hundred fifty dollars. OK, just to be precise. Now you have the option to save or save and add another or save and continue editing. Now I'm going to hit on save. And now you have a success message telling you that the tour with ID number four from South Korea to China seven nights cost thousand to five hundred dollars was added successfully. This is really awesome. You can add users if you want. So you can have that's instead of create super user in uh, the command line interface here. Uh, you can do it here. You can add another user. Let's say, for instance, that we have a new uh, user that's going to be called Nancy, our assistant password. Also, because I'm very creative, I'm going to leave it at one to three. Also, password confirmation one to three. And I'm going to save. Please correct the error below. Now it's forcing me to have a stronger password. So I'm going to say Nancy dollar sign one, two, three, for example, Nancy dollar sign one, two, three. Let's save that again. That's uh, similar to the username. So you see, that's a part of the authentication and authorization. Um, so let's say nano one, two, three, nano one, two, three, right? Hope that we will not have any errors. OK, so the user Nancy was added successfully. You may edit again. You may edit it again below. All right. So we have Amir and we have Nancy. So if you'll click on users, you can see that those are the two users available to you in the Django administration dashboard. If you will click on groups, we have zero groups. You can add groups, by the way, so you can choose a name for your group. You can uh, change the permissions for that group. So if you will take a look to the available permissions, you can add, change, delete and view for the log entry. That's in what concerns the administration. But for our Asia Tours agency, we have our tour for each tour. We can add a tour, change, delete and view. I can say my group. I'm going just to choose what they can do. They can actually do everything in our tours. And I'm going to save that. And now the group my group was added successfully. And if we'll click on Django administration again, we will be redirected to the home page. And notice here, the recent actions that we have done is that we have created my group group, we have created a new user called Nancy, and we have created a new tour with ID four. if you want to edit in the tours, you can click on change, and you can modify whatever you want, you can click on that ID, and you can delete it if you want. You can add tours, you can click on that ID and you can modify any type of field that you have. So let's say from seven, I want to increase it to 10 and I want to increase the price from uh, 1000 to 500 to 1650 dollars. Right, I can save that. And now the tour ID four from uh, South Korea to China was changed successfully. So as you have seen by utilizing the Django's admin app, we can easily manage and manipulate data within our database without the need for manual commands in the shell. By the way, if you will click on Nancy, you can check the history. So first of all, I've added her, then I changed super user and user permissions, and then I changed the super user and user permissions again. So I've done that very easily by just clicking on super user status here. And it says here that designates that this user has all permissions without explicitly assigning them. So if you will click here, you don't have to take all of that, for example, and do like that, you don't have to do this, because um, that's already a super user status, right? You can uh, change the name, you can do, for example, Nancy White, and uh, Nancy at backbrace.com. Again, that's not a real email address. And if you will save here, you'll find that the user Nancy was changed successfully. And if you will notice here, Nancy now has a first name, a last name, but 
she actually doesn't have a staff status. And what does this mean for us? This means that Nancy cannot access to the dashboard. She cannot access to the admin dashboard. So let's go ahead and change that. So if I'll click on Nancy, go down here below, I will click on staff status, take a look. It says here that this designates whether the user can log into this admin site. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. Now let's try to log out. Let's log in again and let's type her username, which is Nancy and the password nano um, with a dollar sign one, two, three, enter. And we have actually accessed the Django admin dashboard. If you want to take the access again from Nancy, you can go to users, you can go to Nancy and you can unclick that staff status. If you will save, and now you are authenticated as Nancy, but are not authorized to access this page. Would you like to log in in a different account? You see immediately Django threw you out of the Django admin dashboard. Now, if I will access with my username and password, I will enter no problems because I'm the main admin. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.